Now, this week and the next are generally considered the peak summer vacation period here in Korea. And often it's when vacationers head off on a big trip overseas. But this year, many Koreans are choosing to spend their break at any one of Korea's prime holiday spots. Now, Shin Se-min reports. The peak summer vacation season is here. From late July and early August every year, more than half of Korea's population takes time away from their daily grind to go on vacation, especially now that school's out. My 11-year-old daughter is free from school and academies these two weeks, which is why we're taking our family vacation now. Many Koreans tend to go overseas for their holiday, but this year, with the economy stagnant due to the nation's April ferry disaster, vacationers are opting to stay within the country. Among the numerous sites to visit, many are choosing to head to beaches or valleys to beat the heat. Popular destinations like the southeastern port city of Busan are overloaded with people enjoying the sun and surf. Filling almost every inch of the 1.7-kilometer stretch of sand, the nation's largest beach has already welcomed over 1.5 million people this past Sunday alone. Spending my vacation with my friends in Busan couldn't have been better. We've planned many things during our stay. As an office worker, it wasn't as easy to take days off for the vacation, but now that I'm here with my girlfriend from Japan, I plan to eat and show her as many attractions in Busan. And with the week-long Busan Sea Festival kicking off this Friday, including concerts and bikini competitions, the city is sure to attract even more visitors. It's crowded and can be expensive, but that hasn't stopped the flow of vacationers descending on Busan in the past and won't this year either. Shin Se-min, Arirang News, Busan.